Welcome, this is M-Dog, and you are on M-Dog Gaming. We are taking a first look at 8-Bit MMO, which is, a, I believe, an indie-developed game. I think that's fair to say. Small team, maybe very small. Uh, this is currently in beta, available to play its beta through Steam. And uh, the creator of this game has graciously allowed for folks to create content, video content, of the beta process. So we are doing a first impressions of this game. Do keep in mind that this is in beta, and though I haven't played it yet, I don't know this for certain, but I would venture that uh, beta for this game probably truly means beta, where some titles we see beta means more time for people to get excited for the game and ramp up to release. Some games, especially independently developed games, still do use the beta process for quite extensive amount of uh, bug squashing, even game development, late game development stages. So keep that in mind as we play here. All I've done at this point is it had me create an account, and from there it said thank you for registering, and boom, here we are. This is the first stage, first page of the game. So again, this is 8-bit MMO. If you'd like to participate in the beta process, there's a way on Steam through the store page to request beta access, and uh, that would be the way to pursue that. It's time to get up. Robbie Z. No, seriously. Get up. I don't even know why. No, I don't even know you. Why are you in my house? You're the hero. What? Another one? Every day it's another homeless guy in my house claiming to be some hero. Clearly you're not the hero of showering. I can tell you that much. A quest? You break into my house and now you're rambling on about a quest. Okay, okay, fine. Here's an epic quest. Go to my kitchen and talk to me there. How do you walk? Use the WASD keys to move or the arrow keys and press E to read signs, open doors, and talk to folks. <clears throat> there we are. And this would appear to be the door. Oh, maybe not. This would appear to be the door. Go on, head up north through the doors and speak with me in the kitchen. No, don't ask me how. I'll already be in there when you arrive. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I wonder if that's going to mess it up. Probably so. Alright, we're getting that screen flickering thing. Alright, so here's the door. We can read signs. Lava moot. Oh, look, there's a quest thingy. Good work. Go forth into 8-bit MMO, a veritable sandbox of building things and also stabbing things with swords and probably other stuff too. I'm still working on this. Don't rush me. You can do anything from take down a horde of evil monsters to build a city, but the most important thing you can do is to get out of my kitchen. You want me one? You want one last quest? Well, there's one thing. A wild pack of congressional, lo congressional lobbyist slugs have infested in my pantry. Go slay five of them and come back here. Use your spacebar to attack them with your sword. Success. We slayed them. Go talk to Robbie again. Robbie Z. That looked a lot like, uh, oh, I'm not a big fan or watcher of that show that that reminded me of, oh, uh, what's it called? The science fiction British show. It'll come to me in a second. That's what it reminded me of, though. The uh, Anyway. Oh, I can't believe I can't think of it. Yes, there is an overpass. Yes, I do see that. Oh, cool. The roads are fast. <laughs> I 
Here's the urban pass. And you respond. Menu, respawn, root. Most tab things, good friends are zombie brains. If you want to build things, talk to my friend Draco the Architect. If you've got feedback or have trouble, just hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or forums. I also post news when I update the game, so consider following on Twitter or liking on Facebook. This world is still a work in progress, but I hope you still have fun in it. And if you enjoy it, tell your friends. How about I make a video about it? Rar rar English? Okay, hello there. You want to learn architecture? You came to the right place. My middle name is architecture. It's a lie. My middle name is the, but my last name is. I'm not sure if you're fully understanding all the subtleties of my character. See, I'm a dragon and an architect, so whatever, never mind. If you want to truly understand architecture, you have to do two have to have two key skills, putting stuff down and picking stuff up. Putting stuff down and picking it up, that's the key. To drop stuff, open your inventory, click the item to make the active item and then check drop active at the bottom right then click where you want to place it to pick stuff up check pick up item at the bottom and click the item to pick it up you can't pick up someone else's stuff though go find some empty land somewhere and put the five blocks down and then pick them up again make sure the eldest all right Dokey. It would appear that other than clicking through menus and such, the mouse is not really doing anything, everything here. Alright, so let's find our active is our sword. Let's go to our inventory. We have five blocks. Drop active. Okay. Pick up. Very good, very good. All right. Escape, uh, exit, and I'm assuming root. Take this back here. Now we talk to the architect. Good work. You generally won't be able to pick up blocks up just anywhere. You can't take other people's blocks. That's just not honorable. So instead, you must buy your own blocks. You can access the shop anytime. Press the H. Go exercise some consumerism and buy something out of the store. H. Alright, let's get construction now where does it say how much gold we have uh, buy a block you like alright okay so I'm only able to get level 1 stuff carpet let's get a roof Bye. And exit. Good work. You've got a natural knack for architecture. Have you ever considered becoming a dragon? <laughs> Weak sauce. Well, now it's time to make your mark on the world. Buy some stuff and start building yourself a nice little house. You can build pretty much anywhere someone else hasn't already built. Just look for some open grass or dirt and place your objects down there. <coughs> okay. Now let's go do this quest as well. That looks like how you go back, maybe, or I don't know. Okay, 
So we're getting gold from killing things. All right. I guess we'll just find reward blocks. Oh, what happened? Okay, so that's like that seems to be teleporting us. Open the door. Those fellas seem to be a little buggy. Open this door. Read this sign. And claim our reward. Alright, I think we can now respond to Root and let him know we're done. 14 gold and 750 experience. Now we gotta kill 15 of these guys. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We got it. And now we will go back. Seven gold, seven hundred fifty experience. Roots dungeon teleporters area. Pass level two door. Take the source of the hipster's power of finding activating the reward block. Alright, find a spell at the spot, build a house, place at least 30 blocks, chat with Draco the Architect. Alright. Whoa. Left, PvP areas, top dungeons, top right, wild pad, right player cities. We just came to somebody's city here. Cool. So someone has built this. To the north, you can find something. Ooh, a free plot. 
zombie party area. So, can we still shop from here? It looks like we can. Now, I still don't see, let's see their inventory. Whoa. This is awesome. This is like a map of where we are right now. I don't know if you're seeing this map. I guess not. That is pretty cool. It shows the whole big map. Now you can see it. Move around. So that's where we are. There's an empty plot there. There's an empty plot down here. Fan art. The Superman sign. So you can see there's already been some cool creative work. There's a picture of one of us park there it's very nice all right so let's go back here not there here let's go root and let's go look and see what the i think it's probably dungeons that we need to go to let's see what it says Alright, this is what we're supposed to go to. Kill the hipsters. Oh. Oh. Does that mean we died? There was a lawyer cat too. Alright, so that guy must be bugged. He's not... He is not dying. Oh, they got me. Okay, we gotta find the reward block. Salavia so Slug. Oh no. That's cool. What does that say? The dungeon. So, maybe we didn't find the reward block yet? Uh, it's not opening. Oh. Maybe that's the reward block. Ooh. I think we went underwater and weren't supposed to. Can't catch me. Oh, can't get through that way. Alright, look like he went. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's wrap this up. So this is 8-bit MMO. It is available. The beta is available on Steam if you request a beta key likely would get one I don't there was nothing to the beta request and within a couple days I got it got a key it's a game that's still in progress 
you can tell from some of the signs and such that there's been changes made even in the current state that it's in uh, a lot of creative user content I'm sure is here um, looks like people can at some point start not only building houses and building things but it looks like you can get to a point where you're making changes to your own appearance not everyone looks like I do currently as people are, have different clothes on and different looks to them so if this is interesting to you check it out on Steam just search 8-bit MMO uh, this has been MDog and as always appreciate you watching our videos and uh, this has been a first impressions video